OP's 28, husband 37, accuses her of being a terrible stepmom for wanting to be a working stay-at-home mom. Original Posting from a throwaway just in case my husband or any of my family and friends reads these. I'm going to change a few details because I'm paranoid, but the story is the same. I am a saleswoman and I do very well for myself. My husband and I have been married for two years now and together for five. This is my first marriage and my husband's second. He has an eight-year-old daughter from his previous relationship and has always had full custody of her. Our dating life was tricky with him being a full-time single dad and having to work long hours, but we made it work. I met his daughter when she was four after we had been dating for a year. I liked her very much and have always done my best to be the best stepmommy ever. She calls me mom and I have done all the mom things for her. I've helped her get dressed and ready for school, done her hair, cooked her meals, helped her with homework and soccer practice, taken her for ice cream dates, tucked her into bed, read her stories, etc. I'm not perfect. And I've made mistakes, but overall, we've been a very happy family. When my husband and I got engaged, he asked if I would like to be a stay-at-home mom for Lizzie and any future children we had. At the time, I politely declined. I was doing well in my career, loved going to work, and the thought of being home all day with a kid and doing nothing but housework and typical stay-at-home mom things didn't really tickle my fancy. My then fiancé was gracious and we both assumed that was how it would be for any future children we had. Fast forward to now and I am now six months pregnant with our son. I am on a cloud nine. I was am um, always in a permanent state of bliss and something in me changed. I started thinking about being a stay-at-home mom and suddenly it didn't seem so bad. I am in love with my son and want to spend as much time with him as I can. I know it's not all roses and champagne. There is actually a lot of poop, drill, screaming, and exhaustion involved. But I can't really stand the thought of having two weeks maternity leave and then handing my son to a stranger in a daycare. I've been thinking about this for months because I wanted to make sure this was something I really wanted and not wishful thinking. I weighed the pros and cons and spoke to my supervisor. I'm at the point in my career where I could work from home full time and stay with my son and pick my stepdaughter up from school. I certainly wouldn't mind watching her and doing more things with her too. The more I think about it, the more I want to try this. So after I put little Lizzie to bed tonight, I asked my husband if we could talk and excitedly broached my idea. I was very unprepared for his reaction. My husband is furious. He yelled that we had agreed I wouldn't be a stay-at-home mom before we got married and it was bullshit. I was changing my mind now. He said I was a rotten stepmother and I clearly loved our son more than Lizzie and it was disgusting the obvious favoritism I was showing him. He also said I shouldn't be allowed to stay at home with our son if his daughter didn't get to experience it with me. For the record, Lizzie is very excited about her little brother and can't wait for him to be born. She's never expressed any kind of anxiety sadness or jealousy towards him or me. I was shocked and stunned. My husband is on the couch, his choice, and I'm here crying in our room. I am so very hurt by what my husband said. I know I'm not perfect, but I've really done the best for Lizzie that I could. I never thought I'd change my mind about being a stay-at-home mom when I got pregnant. But now I really, truly, want to do this and i wouldn't have to quit my job either which is a double bonus i am very hurt by what my husband said and frankly a little angry at his accusation i didn't love the baby more than lizzie 
I do love Lizzie and while I admit I feel a deeper connection to this baby. I feel that is due to the fact that I'm going through the experience of pregnancy and it's really hitting home for me this baby is half me. But that doesn't mean I love Lizzie any less. It's just different. Is that really so wrong? Am I really a bad stepmom? I didn't plan on changing my mind and again, I still plan to keep my job and I don't mind taking extra care of Lizzie in addition to the baby. In fact, I think it might be a chance for us to grow closer and bond over the baby. I don't know what to say to my husband. I tried telling him all the things I've said here, including spending more time and growing closer to Lizzie. But all he did was yell louder and say more awful things about my parenting. I'm pretty crushed and honestly growing more angry by the minute. I feel that I am a good stepmom to Lizzie and she seems to think so too. The only one who seems to have a problem is my husband. TLDR asked to be a stay-at-home mom for our baby after giving it considerable thought and my husband blew up at me and accused me of being a horrible parent and loving our son more than his daughter. I am shocked, hurt and angry. Advice? Update. Two weeks later. Thank you for all the kind and supportive messages on the last post. It was really helpful as well as some of the possible suggestions as to why my husband suddenly blew up at me. I did get some nasty PMs from what sounded like bitter single dads, which only further convinced me my husband was being an absolute irrational jerk. To address some of the questions that were asked in the last post, at the time my husband asked me to be a stay-at-home mom, we were not married, nor was I at a place in my career where I could have worked from home. I would have had to quit my job, which I did not want to do. To be a parent to a child that wasn't mine to a man I wasn't married to, but would have full financial dependence on. So that was a huge no-go for me. But even after we were married, it took a while to still get a place where I wouldn't have to quit my job to be a stay-at-home parent. To those who were saying I couldn't expect to work full-time from home, and take care of an infant and grammar school girl. You're right. Maybe I worded it wrong or just didn't go into full details in my post. But while I would be working from home and I can do it without having to quit, I would be working part-time instead of full-time. My supervisor is 100% fine with this. So basically, I would have two weeks maternity leave and then I would be working from home part-time. Well, I will take a cut in pay, my company is great and is letting me keep full benefits despite part-time hours. I know my husband isn't worried about finances because even if I quit, he makes more than enough to comfortably support us. I just love working too much to completely quit, but my son is definitely a priority for me. Lizzie's mom is in the picture but just barely. She has borderline personality disorder, drinks like a fish, and is just basically an irresponsible party animal. She sees Lizzie maybe one weekend a month if she isn't too hungover or stoned to make an effort. The only nice thing I can say about her is that, at least, she makes child support payments on time, minuscule as they are. Lizzie doesn't like her very much and has made it clear she prefers me to her mother. I can't say I blame her poor dear. So, I went to bed that night very angry after my crying jag. Because I love Lizzie and I have been a great mom to her. The next couple of days were very quiet. I was distant but polite to my husband and still warm and cuddly with Lizzie. I didn't really want anything to do with him. My husband started picking on everything I did for Lizzie and around the house. Started saying more things like, why are you bothering? And that's now how this should be done. And I'll bet that makes you feel just great. I had had enough. After I put Lizzie to bed, I told my husband I was sick of his nasty attitude and he was setting a toxic environment 
for his daughter and that if he had something to say, he should say it. He started to yell and scream again, but I put my foot down this time. I said, I want to work through whatever problems we have and get this issue resolved because I love you and care about you. But I will not take toxic abuse behavior. I will not talk to you until you are ready to be respectful and kind. My husband lost it even more and screamed, I'm sleeping on a couch. So I said, excuse me, I am heavily pregnant with your son and every part of me hurts. I need access to the bathroom when I wake up at night. I will be sleeping in the bed. You can either join me if you can be quiet or you can sleep out here. He seemed kind of taken aback and I just left and went to bed. I guess he slept on the couch. The next day after Lizzie went to bed, I said that I think we need to set up an appointment with a marriage counselor. My husband said I'm the only one with a problem so he won't go. I asked him to please tell me what was bothering him then so we can work through it. In a nutshell, he is pissed. I didn't want to quit my job and be a stay-at-home mom for Lizzie, but I do for our son and so therefore I love our son more and that makes me a terrible person. I explained like I had before I didn't want to quit my job and be dependent on a man I wasn't married to. He got very defensive and said, it's clear I've never trusted him then and that makes me a bad wife and mother. I asked, why didn't he quit his job then and be a stay-at-home dad? He blustered a bit then, responded he makes more true and children need a mom during the early years more than a dad. He also said that since Lizzie never had the experience of a stay-at-home mom, then our son shouldn't have the favoritism of getting it either because it wasn't fair to Lizzie. I said it was ridiculous to punish me and our son for being unable to travel back in time and it changed the uterus Lizzie was conceived in. I also said infants need a lot more care than pre-K kids. That opened up a whole other can of forms with my husband resents me for not quitting work and being a full-time stay-at-home mom and that if I'm going to do something I should do it fully engaged. What? He then went on and on about how I'm breaking our agreement for me to not to be a stay-at-home parent and how that makes me unstable. I pointed out I have a right to change my mind and I won't give my baby to a stranger to race while fretting about him all day at the office. I said I was very willing to do more things with Lizzie, like take her to the zoo and museums with a baby, get involved at PTA at her school, and go to her sporting events so me and her brother can watch her while she practices. I said this is healthy for all the children and he had a warped view of justice and fairness by depriving our children of a healthy environment because Lizzie's mom was an unfit parent. I said his guilt won't go away by taking opportunities away from our kids and that I was willing to work out whatever issues there were and to go to a counselor and speak to child psychologists and other professionals that could give him an unbiased professional opinion. No. He became violently angry again and said I was going back to work two weeks after the birth and that was the end of the discussion. That I had had my chance to be a stay-at-home mom and since I didn't take it for Lizzie when I could, I wasn't allowed to do it now since he wouldn't let me. Now, as much as I love my husband and our children, I will not be controlled. I will not be told where I can and can't work. I will not be told if I can or can't work. I'm not a dog. I am not a slave. I will not be told to deny my own baby his mother and hand him to a stranger because his sister got a bad start in life. Purposely neglecting your own child opportunities in the name of fairness is insane. That is being a bad parent.
The fact that my husband wanted to do this to me and my son flipped a switch in me. I stood up calmly and told my husband I was leaving, that he had crossed the line and I needed space from him, and that I would not subject any child of mine to this kind of abusive, controlling environment. I said, when things come down, we can go to marriage counseling, because he clearly has deep-seated issues that need to be worked out. He became hysterical and said, I can't leave that we have a family, that I can't take his son, etc., etc. I was just done by that point. I said that for once, he will take Lizzie to school and I will leave during that time. I went to our room and started packing. He started throwing my clothes out of the suitcase and screaming at me. I was honestly pretty terrified. I had never seen my husband like this. I told him if he tries to prevent me from going or touches me in any way, I would be calling the police. I also said I was calling my mother to come and get me. Maybe it was an overreaction, but I was scared senseless, and I just wanted to get myself and my son away from it. He started crying really hard, just sobbing and walked away. I called my mother and said she needed to come and get me immediately that I didn't feel safe and I needed to stay with her for a bit. I quickly packed what I needed and my mom came and got me. I've been with her for about five days and now I feel just numb. I can't believe how fast this all happened and how my family and marriage got turned upside down in just a few days. I wish I had never brought up being a stay-at-home parent. If I hadn't, this never would have happened. My husband and I were no contact for a couple days and then he started texting and calling on day three, saying, Lizzie has been crying for me and misses me. I've ascertained that Lizzie is safe. I know my husband would never mistreat her, but I spoke to her yesterday anyways and made sure she is being fed, going to school, and doing her homework. She was crying and asked me, when I'm coming back and I didn't know what to say to that. So I said, I didn't know, but I love her very much. I told my husband to stop using Lizzie as a pawn to manipulate me into coming back because it won't work. He actually said I'm proving I'm a terrible step-parent by not coming back and being there for her. I said, that if I'm so terrible, he shouldn't want me back and to not speak to me again until he is ready to go to counseling and leave Lizzie out of our problems. I said if Lizzie is mentioned in any text or email, I will delete it without reading the rest of it. I said any phone call where he tries to bring her up outside the context of her being safe and taken care of, I will immediately hang up on. I said. I don't want to talk to him right now and he should figure out what he wants because I am ready to file for divorce if he doesn't pull it together soon. My husband started crying again but I just hung up because I was too exhausted to deal with any more that day. He has been silent since except for one text I got today saying he wants me back and misses me. I really don't know where to go from here. I'm still trying to process all of it, although writing it down here helps. I just can't believe my husband did all of this and I am wondering if he just had a psychotic break. I'm wondering what red flags I've missed all this time and why I was stupid enough to marry and have a family with this guy and how could I have been so blind? I want to divorce him, but I'm not ready to head for the divorce court yet. I want some space and time to process it all and see if my husband shows signs of wanting to go to counseling or trying to repair the damage done. If this was just a one-time thing or if this is who he really is. I feel terrible for Lizzie, but I can't put myself or my son in jeopardy by moving back out of guilt. I'm being selfish right now and saying that my son and I are priority right now. 
I have to do what's best for my son. Too long didn't read. Situation went completely out of control. My husband had what I think was a psychotic break and I had to leave. I am staying with my mother right now and trying to process everything and decide where to move forward from here.